you there. Welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where of course every day is a trade show, but today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. That's right, we all know that Thanksgiving is coming up, but many of us might not know the true story behind the true first Thanksgiving. So here at Yankee Dabbler, we have a story entitled, The First Yankee Dabbler Thanksgiving. That's right, folks, you did not read about this in school, and we are going to educate you about this right now. <clears throat> A long time ago, there were three ships that came to Europe in search for new and better train operating systems. They came aboard three ships entitled the Walthers, the Atherin, and the Atlas in search for new hopes around the horizon. As they landed on their new spot of the new world, they landed on what is now considered a very famous rock. That, of course, is the Rock Island. And check out these Rock Island 3-Bay Hoppers from Microchains. Check these guys out. I love these. These are the 3-Bay Hoppers. They call it the 4-Car Runner Pack from Microchains here. And I love that Rock Island color here. As you can see, I have the powdered blue with the giant R look here. There's a tremendous amount of detailing that goes into these things. And if you're a Rock Island fan or an N-Scale fan, or just a train fan, I highly recommend you get these cars here because they are fantastic looking, and they have a lot of weight to them too, so they're not going to be falling off of your rails. Now, the retail value for this four-pack is $129.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $103.96, roughly $25 a car, and that is a great deal to get on a tremendous item made by a tremendous company, and hopefully they'll find a way on your tremendous layout. So come on board and get them. Love those Rock Island cars. Anyway, the pilgrims in the new colony did not know how to plant food for themselves. You see, the Food Network wasn't invented yet, so really no one knew how to do anything. But that is when they met the Native Americans who taught the pilgrims how to plant their own food. The Native, the Native Americans brought tons of seed to plant inside of these ballast cars from Bowser. Check out these cars here, and I think these are spectacular looking vehicles to transport seed or ballast. I have a whole bunch of different row names here. We're going to start down here with the Erie Lackawanna. We have a Santa Fe look there. I love the Rio Grande, but of course we all know my favorite's got to be the Redding and Northern. We have another Santa Fe look here, as well as a Penn Central. I like that yellow look there. We got the Ontario Northland. We got a yellow Conrail, and I also have a gray one upstairs. And finally, I have the main central. Now, these ballast cars here are very nicely detailed, and they have a lot of weight to them, too. And for a car, you know, if you get a lot of cars here, sometimes weight is an issue. Well, I don't think you're going to have any problem with these cars here. Metal wheels. These cars look really cool, and I really like the look of them. They're a little bit unique. Now, these ballast cars retail for $29.95, but we're selling them here for $23.96. So that's an awesome deal to get in these cars. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of different versions. So I could come up with a nice long unit train of ballast cars. Get that operating today. I think you're really going to have some fun with that. Man, those ballast cars are really great. I think they're definitely going to be a conversation starter around your holiday display if you get one this year. Mm. All right. Anyway, continuing with our story here. The pilgrims were so relieved that they could finally plant food for themselves and they gave tons and tons of tanks. Each tank was more tankful for the next. Tank you, tank you. Hey, speaking of tanks, let's check out these tank cars here from Atherin. And these are the clay slurry tank cars here. And these are great looking tank cars. I know it's not like a broken record saying this car is great, this car is great. I really like these cars though. They are incredibly detailed. You can see the row names there. You can see the reflective bands on some of these, the safety bands here. I love the writing. Check out this guy right here. I mean, take a look at all that writing that is on that car right there. I mean, that is a HO product there. And it just is tremendously detailed there. I love it. I love the look of these cars here. And what's really neat about them is they have the extended shelf couplers there. So that is a really neat little uh, detail added to these cars here. And I have a whole bunch of different tank cars, including three packs. So if you're interested in maybe a three pack of these cars here, I have them. I also have the individual ones with a couple of different road numbers. 
Now these tank cars retail, the individuals retail for $44.99, but we're selling them for $35.99. Of the three packs sell for $109.99, but we're selling that for $87.99. So it's a great deal to get on these cars. Tank cars are one of my favorite rolling stock pieces, so give lots of tanks this year and get these cars rolling today on your layout. Ah, the giant feast has begun. The Native Americans brought their grain. The Pilgrims brought their vegetables. Aunt Dolores gave out that disgusting-looking jello casserole thing with the marshmallows. What the heck is that? Nobody eats that. Don't stop making it. But the main event, of course, was the Thanksgiving goose. It was actually a blue goose. Like this blue goose we have here from Broadway Limited. Oh my goodness, this is an engine that I am incredibly excited to try out here. This is the 464 Hudson Blue Goose Streamline from the Santa Fe. I love this engine here. You know, a lot of times when we're talking about steam engines, you see black steam engines. Maybe if it's a Southern, you have a green or an orange for a Southern Pacific. But most of the steam engines are black. This one is just a gorgeous blue color. It is definitely a conversation starter. I know my wife is not really into trains, but when she sees something that looks like this, she goes, wow, that's really cool looking. So any train that your spouse can get into is a winner on my book. So I really love this engine here. All die cast metal construction, including the tether. Actually, it's a brass hybrid model. So that is, uh, you have metal parts in here. You have brass parts in here. It is incredibly detailed and we're going to fire her up. So let's get going. All right, so I got this engine all fired up here. I love the headlight that I got up front here. I love the illuminated number boards that I got right there. As you can see, it's already starting to smoke here. And I love this little backup light that they have up here inside of the cab. That is very unusual. I've never seen that on a model before. And of course, I have a lit interior with my engineer fireman in there. This is a great look. So let's fire her up. Whistle, let's see the bell. All aboard. Alright, this is a great piece. As a matter of fact, let's get it fired up and pull some cars here around our layout. Oh boy! Now arriving on track number one, train number 3460. Thanks for the memories. It's 
So that is a fantastic looking steam locomotive if I ever did see one myself. Now the retail value for this engine is actually $899.99. I know, it's high. But we're still to hear a Yankee Dabbler for $829.99. It's still a lot of money to get, but this is a gorgeous looking locomotive. It is tremendously detailed. You can always throw in that engineer hall discount and save 5% off of that. Any little bit helps when you're talking about those type of numbers. But this is a great looking engine. We only have a couple here at the store. So if this is something that you've always wanted or an engine that you've always admired. Not a lot of people have made the Blue Goose. You got to get this thing because you know what happens. Broadway Limited makes it and then they shelve it. And who knows what's going to come out of the next. So we have them here. Coming to Yankee Dabbler. That's going to be an awesome Christmas gift if anyone's looking for a a very unique looking locomotive. I guarantee you I like it. As I said, maybe your, your spouse will enjoy it too. And after they all ate the goose, everyone lived happily ever after. Until the next morning when everyone had a terrible hangover and asked the kids all leave because they're too dang loud. Don't be loud the next day. The end. Well, that was our show about the first Yankee Dabbler Thanksgiving. It is very accurate. I guarantee it. Kids, take notes. You're going to be doing fine if you pay attention. Let's do a little recap of all the things that we have up here. Of course, we had here the Broadway Limited Blue Goose Santa Fe Steam Locomotive, one of my favorites. We have here the Athern Clay Slurry Tank Cars. We have the Ballast Cars from Bowser and a multitude of different road names and colors. And, of course, I had that Forerunner pack from Micro Trades of the Rock Island. But, of course, if none of these things interest you, well, you can always go to our website, yankeedabbler.com. Search what you're looking for. We're continuously adding new items up there, so make sure you see what you're looking for. We all know it's trade season now, so you want to make sure that you get what you want and get it in time for the holiday season to make that very special someone very happy, like me or Engineer Hall. Engineer Hall, are you excited for trains? Oh my god, it's the time of year. I'm super excited. I know, right? It's like even worse than normal. All right. If you're already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, thank you very much. But if you haven't, click that Engineer Hall button and get subscribed with all the latest and greatest things. We have something very special to announce here on our show because, as we all know, it is the holiday season. And a lot of us get out our holiday displays. Truthfully, like me, it's just an excuse to get more trains out. So we know we have a lot of great train uh, displays out there. So we're going to do the Engineer Hall Presents, the Holiday Layout Presentation. That's right, you uh, you sent us a video or a photograph of your holiday display involving trains. And we'll put it up on a show just like we did for the fall layout extravaganza and the spring layout spectacular. It's going to be great. So show us your Christmas trees, show us your menorahs, show us your whatever. As a matter of fact, Engineer Hall has just demoed his entire house. It's just a giant caboose now. How much did that cost you? Oh, I can't talk about that. Anyway, we'll see all that and more. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Well, I want to thank you very much for watching our show. And if you excuse me, I think our Thanksgiving story was a success. Now it's time to start working on the Christmas version. Let's see. Uh, there was no room at the inn. So they bought a Walther's Hotel kit. Oh, man, this is going to be great. All right. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And take care for everyone here at Yankee Dabbler.